What's up, everybody? Um, I need to make sure that uh, everything looks good on the live stream. How you guys doing today? Uh, today is January 30th. So if you're in the chat right now, do me a favor and just let me know if the sound is good. And we will go ahead and get started with today's featured presentation. <sighs> See if I can hear it. So if you're in the chat right all now, right, all right. So it looks like we're good to go. What's up, people? Um, today is January 30th, 2020. We are looking at Bitcoin BTC to the USD on a 343 complements of the boss method. Um, and I think the elevator might just be getting started. Uh, I've been saying for quite some time now, I believe this is a macro shift in the market from down to sideways to up. And, uh, you know, today we're going to be looking at the charts and a few other tools that you can use to uh, help you make money in the market. So without further ado, if this is your first time tuning in, congratulations, baby. You are now rocking with the best. My name is BK, known as the Crypto Trader, and I'm the boss of these charts, as you will soon find out. Every day I grace this microphone with my voice is another day you can profit as a result, and today is no exception. So what we will do right now is show the new people uh, to the community uh, the free crypto trading tools and resources that we have available on bossofbitcoin.com. Scroll down. You can click this link on the right-hand side. That will take you to my TradingView page. I'm one of the top published authors on there. And I will also be posting this chart free of use to everybody that follows me on there. So click that link on the right hand side. BD Kelly 1203 is my name on TradingView and you can get this chart after the video. Also, you can click that second link. That's our Facebook group. This will take you to the number one Bitcoin group in the world. Hashtag one Bitcoin. Type it in on Facebook. 21,000 of my best friends come together seven days a week to keep each other empowered and in profit in the marketplace and we have an ongoing promotion for a free bitcoin giveaway fifty dollars free uh just for signing up with crypto.com all you need to do is share this post right now and then click that link uh right there up top to get fifty dollars for free right um so this is what we're talking about today uh i think it is a shift in the market uh, when you look at how high Bitcoin will go, well, the shift from USD fiat slave labor debt paper to blockchain based equity has already started. Right. And this is this was actually confirmed back in like 20, 2009, 2010, when one Bitcoin became more valuable than one dollar. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with uh, the current status quo, those green pieces of paper that we've been indoctrinated to value actually have no value. They are essentially uh, private owned debt notes, right? Um, if you actually read the fine print, it says uh, to all rights, public and private. Um, and essentially it, it refers to the private equity or debt um, placed on each note, which is claimed by a private interest or trust, uh, i.e. the Federal Reserve, who actually has the rights to the interest on those notes. So same prime example, you go to a restaurant, you know, you eat you a nice a nice meal. And then at, at the end of that meal, they come and give you a bill. Right. It could be twenty dollars, could be fifty dollars, could be a hundred dollars. But nonetheless, it is a bill. It is an amount due. You owe that money. It's the exact same thing with the denominations in your wallet, 5, 10, 15, 20. You owe that money, right? That's not your live asset. That is someone else's right to the interest on that note. It is an amount due. It is a bill. A $20 bill is a debt. It is not an asset. It's a liability, essentially, <clears throat> right? Because it has a, a cured interest, you know, that someone else has the rights to that you don't even see, 
You know, we're just passing the bill, passing the buck, so to speak, right? And so again, we got these resources for you, uh, free of charge, other people, for the people, by the people to help you make money in the markets. And this is what Bitcoin looks like right now. Uh, Bitcoin, you can see this is on a month. This is a uh, crypto bubbles, one of the cool uh, little tools, you know, that I found that's been developed and built out over years uh, to give a nice visualization of the market in real time. Right. Bitcoin on the month is up 30 percent. When you go to a year, let's see, it's up 174 uh, percent year to date. Going back, I think, to uh, January 2019. Um, you know, and, and the rest of the altcoins are haven't been far behind, right? Uh, one thing to note is that when you actually look at the dominance, this is what I'm mostly interested in. Bitcoin is still claiming 67% dominance over the whole market. That means of all the money on the blockchain, point blank period, 67% of it values Bitcoin more than any other asset out there, right? And so you kind of have to go where the money's at when you're talking about what should you value, when should you value it. BTC has been literally, you know, the granddaddy of them all. And so when I do a lot of these videos, oftentimes more than likely, I will be talking about Bitcoin only unless I see something, you know, in the charts in the market that shows one of these other coins uh, is about to uh, make some real deal money and get get a big chunk of that money in the immediate future, right? And so again, you can see like just clicking on this, now you can see the top 10, top 20 coins are the ones that have received the most value over the year. Again, this is uh, reflective of trickle down economics where when new money flows in, it comes in from the top down. So those are two major things that you want to be cognizant of is to always play the top coins, but most importantly, use the boss method when you do so. And we're going to be getting into that uh, here in a second. Um, this is Google Trends, right? Um, one of the things I like to try to do is show you guys like when a shift happens. Uh, January 26, you can literally see it looks like we bottomed out here and we've had this spike like literally the past week to where the interest, the Google uh, sentiment has increased from 55 to 80. It doesn't seem like a lot, but to be honest, the top of that chart is 100. So this thing is, you know, well on its way to um, hitting, uh, again, macro recognition within the market. Let me see, how do I do this? Wipe that off. And then another thing you can do, right? This is just simple trend line analysis is when you take like a, a straight line, you know, and make it from the top of those highs, you can see like once we hit this area right here, that's when this whole thing broke out. Right. Um, and this follows technical analysis. We'll get into it on this chart, but you can kind of see just using Google Trends. This is a whole new cycle, uh, basically, that we started towards the end of January um, a couple days ago, technically. And that's why I'm doing this video. So uh, we can open it up to the chat real quick. I want to get some live interaction. 30 people rocking out with me. What's going on? Glad to see you. How you doing? Uh, throw throw some numbers in the chat. How high will Bitcoin go on this next run? Uh, we literally, since the beginning of the year, um, pull up a 343. Since the beginning of the year, we started this run down here at $7,200. And today we are at $9,400, which is a gain of more than 30% in 30 days, like a boss. You know what I'm saying? The dollar is not going to do that. If I pull up, let's do it real quick. Let's pull up DGIA, DJIA, right? Dow Jones Industrial Average. Let's look at what they did since the beginning of 2020, which is right up in here. They're up half a percent. <laughs> I'm saying it's 30 days, right? 
Uh, now keep in mind, keep in mind, using the boss method, you actually would have jumped in down here and you would have got you a whopping 7% for six months, right? So you can see, you know, hand over fist, BTC is the better option. It's a, it's a more valued asset around the world. Blockchain technology is the future. Bitcoin is the longest working prototype facilitating the transition of recognition from one paradigm to another. And as a result, it goes up much faster, much quicker, much longer, much stronger. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, Bitcoin is definitely in a new cycle. One way we know this is because our 77, right? I tell you guys back in the day, I would say you would need to do the white ball test, right? And what that is, like you just play ski ball, um, right here, and you just kind of take off a couple of these. Right here, right? You would literally roll this ball down, and wherever it starts to slow up at, a lot of times you probably put like the 77 up in there, you know, just to give it like some friction. Wherever it starts to slow up at, and it comes back down and it sinks, right? Wherever that happens at, that's where your reversal is in the market. And that's where you can start to see these new patterns emerge, right? And again, this is the boss method. These are three simple moving averages, a seven, a 77, and a 231. Uh, and then uh, when you freestyle on a Fibonacci, take this one, put this one right here. These are the new levels that we have, basically that have been resonant, uh, going back to February of 19, almost a 12 month cycle, right? And so now that we more or less have a new cycle confirmed right there with the white ball test. If we wanted to also confirm that on a Fibonacci, this is what that would look like. I just did one cycle right there, zero to one. And right where you can see it behind it, but right where that last white line is, that last white line right there, that basically starts the new cycle. That's the 6-4. A lot of people don't even know what that is, but I do because I built this system. The 6-4 basically tells you where the new next cycle is going to start. Um, and that's what we're in right now. Um, and so let's jump into the chat and see what you guys think with regards to the future price. I see my man uh, Alan Watts said 12.5. Where's 12.5 at? 12.5 is up there. I'm just going to throw you guys predictions on this thing. So that's my man, Alan. Let's see. Man, Alan said 12.5. What else we got? Gustavo said 14K. Nothing stops until 20K. Is it possible we pass 14K? Well, let's throw you up here too. And then we got another one. Circle jerk industrial average. Yeah, you're right. Um, if we get one more, I'll throw you guys up there. All right, so I'll leave you guys. I'll put you guys in like uh, purple or something. There you go. All right, so this is what this is what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go down to a 77 minute because that'll give me a couple more intersections to look at uh, to really draw out the finite details, finite details of this. One of the things to note: you always want to anchor in to the major intersection of change, and that's gonna be that right there. A lot of times you want to do a trend line just to get like the baseline bottom support and. Um, because I want this to be more dynamic with the quick money, I'm just gonna do it from the bottom of the seven 
to that intersection right there, right? And when you get a good trend line, you can literally just copy and paste it and then throw it back on the last intersection, right? Yeah. And that in turn gives you the new channel uh, that you're operating in right now. Now keep in mind, we are technically outside of that channel, but this is kind of like a very quick baseline comparison. Um, if I wanted to like get the bottom of that seven, you know, right there, right there, you can see it's like fractions, factions, and now we're back inside of it, right? So a lot of times you just tighten up the angle uh, that you take these different intersections from um, to really refine the view that it shows you, right? And so this is the channel that Bitcoin is in right now. You can see on a 343, this is what it looks like. We're basically inside this channel, moving up and to the right, which is exactly where you want to be um, when you're talking about investing. As long as you're going up and to the right, you are, by definition, increasing more of that asset over time, right? I always tell you guys, there's three parts to any cycle. Break out, break down, and then flatline. And that's exactly what we did now. What comes next? Break out. Keep in mind, because this is a quick reversal, we will not, I repeat, we will not continue to run through this channel and run all the way up here in a straight line to retest my man Allen uh, to retest this $12,000 limit. That's not going to happen. What will happen is we will hit pressure, we will consolidate, and then the market will decide if it wants to send it up or if it wants to send it down, right? That has not happened yet. But with respect to this trend, I think this is more or less the area that we would be looking at for the market to make a decision. And this was the 3-2. Um, this is about $9,500, technically another $100 higher uh, than where we are right now. I think we could see that as a quick money ceiling. But then also, I think when this point comes into play at the second part of that line, that's when Bitcoin will have to make a decision. At that point, you will either see us run up to 1100 or come back down to 800 to again get this flat flat line in you know consolidation before we hit the next run which would be coming over here right and so it's basically two dates that I see, which will be pivotal for predicting Bitcoin's future average. The first one is going to be March 3rd. The second one is going to be May 9th. Uh, this level right here kind of serves as our initial long term resistance um, for now. Right. But then once we run or once we decide to break through that then you can see this thing go as high as 11,000 before march 12th right you might get a couple candles up in here you know to, to meet alan you know up at his 12,000, but more than likely we'll hit this 11 maybe get a candle tick up there and then come back down to confirm that three two because what just happened is we're literally testing this thing right now and so if we break, then more than likely it will have to come back to confirm it before it starts to hit another big run up here, right? And that's where that would happen. A lot of times you really just forecast these uh, levels out. If we wanted to do one uh, going down, that's what it looks like. Put it all the way up top, right? And you see this little golden triangle right here? 
That's basically your apex. That's kind of where this whole thing started to reverse at. That's where negative went to positive. And all I did was took two trend lines, moved them down, copy and pasted each other. And that gave us this center of the chart right here where things start to turn around at. So this is all just one part of a natural cycle. Again, I think 9,600 uh, should serve as a resistance right now. We could fall as low as 83 to 80 to 77 even that wouldn't necessarily be bad as long as it happened before march 13th after march 13th i think to continue this trend we definitely need to be above 83 uh, and that's when you'll see bitcoin retest this level here at 94 uh before may 9th right so again it's like it's like low risk high reward you buy it up here you value it down there you have a chance to lose 10 percent over the next three months, or my man Allen come through on his 14K, you're looking at another 28%. And once Bitcoin gets up here to retest you know, these highs, this is when the CJBs are really gonna start to look at it because they view it you know, from a quarterly perspective, from an annual perspective. They're like, man, if we would've just got it right there, you know, or if we would've just you know, bought it at the beginning of the year, right here, you know, they would have got probably 10 times what they did on Wall Street. And so once an asset you know, surpasses the expectations of the market uh, is when you start to see a lot of new money running into it. So I know this chart is a little bit convoluted and uh, you know, it's a lot going on. I don't think we'll be getting to 14,000 right away, at least not until this day. Right, and that's taking it out into the summer, probably Jan or June, July, if we wanted to look at it daily. Yeah, that's like mid July is when I think we have a chance to uh, peak out at that fourteen hundred, right? But it'll be a lot happening before then, and also it will be a lot more money coming into the altcoins. I think you should value Bitcoin at this point because Bitcoin uh, is outperforming dollars. Uh, and has been for quite some time. The simple economic design of it as a, as a machine of value um, is much better with regards to uh, equity, you know, and, and so it will always beat dollars over time. And so in doing that, you can really see the breaks and the shifts, you know, and I think the chance to accumulate the altcoins is right now. If you want to go back, uh, one of the things I did, let's see if I can find um the thumbnail where is it where is it let's just do this oh. one of the videos i literally just did uh a week ago um was on litecoin ltc right litecoin to the moon Shout out to the people that watched it, you know what I'm saying, and bought some Litecoin. Holla at your boy. That's how you get paid. Uh, this is when I jumped in and I gave you guys about 39 minutes, a nice small dissertation on why Litecoin could easily be one of the biggest coins of 2020. Uh, when I did this video and I said Litecoin was a buy, um, the price was still down at like 6600 uh satoshis like 57 bucks 57 34 6600 satoshis when you look at litecoin's price right now let's see the date on this video this was january 2020 right right here january 2020 i make the video today is up eight percent in 10 days that's how you get paid man you know what I'm saying? Wall Street ain't gonna make you 8% in 10 days, right? But BK could do it on the blockchain. And so this is what we have. We have the opportunity to make a lot of money in a short amount of time by understanding these different cycles. I say it at once, I say it twice, three parts to any given cycle. Break out, break down, flatline. What comes next, right? 800 views, you know what I'm saying? Maybe if I had a bow tie, you know, and uh, I was, I was, uh, you know, I was uh, pumping out, pumping out, you know, little uh, 10 minute, 10 minute snippets every day. 
then I could get 28,000 views. But I started with 800, so that's what we go work up with. This is the real deal, man. Litecoin is one of the top coins in the market right now. I think it's one of the best coins of 2020. I just released another profit package today. Um, and I'll tell you right now, LTC is on that list. So shout out to you for making it this far in the video. You're getting a free snippet of information. The profit package is the top seven coins to swing trade every seven days. Litecoin is on that list uh, this week. I also got another coin um, that I'm not going to give you right now. But that coin's been on the list for two weeks now. And it, it's already jumped up. It actually jumped up more uh, than Litecoin did in this past week. Uh, and I think it's just getting started. And because it's a lower cap coin than Litecoin, it's not a top 10 coin. When it goes up, it goes up a lot faster and a lot more violent um, because it doesn't have as much of an economy to weight it down. And so those are the big things to keep note of. I definitely think Bitcoin BTC is on the way up. Uh, we could see 14,000 by July. However, I think we do definitely have to break through this uh $9,800 barrier, right? Um, this was this is a major area of concern in this chart because essentially that yellow line uh, is where we fell off from right here, right? And so basically, all that money um, has to has to be filled out on the other side, right? And so if that was the floor over here, then it will be the ceiling over here. And that's why you need some time to get through it. And that's why I could see Bitcoin kind of capitulating between 9,500, 9,600, 8,800, you know, kind of just trading sideways for the next month or so before we see a big pop come the middle of March, right? So there you go, people. Uh, if you're in the chat right now, shout your country out. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you think it's quality content, hit that thumbs up button for me. Uh, I definitely want to get this word out. And again, we're giving away $50, uh, free $50 from crypto.com uh, first Friday. So that's coming up next week. All I'm going to do is do a little randomizer. Just jump on here, pick somebody, and you will be getting paid live on the air. So all you need to do in order to enter that contest is to share this post right now. And then what I'm going to do is pick a randomizer, pick the day, go back, pick that day's video, and then just scroll through and uh, pick somebody, you know, that, that shared that post, right? Um, how do you see the halving playing to this? It's already played into it. Uh, the halving started playing in it down here when it didn't drop below 6,000. That's when the banks realized that because if it would have dropped, if it would have dropped right there, then it was going to go back down to uh, probably 4,800, right? And that's a lot of money to to take off the top. And because that didn't happen, that's more or less that 30% didn't drop. That's basically the premium that the banks are willing to pay in the future. The halving has already taken place. Now, if the halving wouldn't occur for another two years, then you could have saw Bitcoin drop to probably four grand for the rest of 2021 and then started its run probably right around the same time, probably about a year out, six months out, you know, uh, for the next for the next run. Right. So I think it, I think it's already taken place. Uh, we're watching it unfold right now. And then we're also watching the biggest transition of wealth in the history of humanity coming from a pumped up, you know, what do we call it? Um, circle jerk industrial average NASDAQ, right? This thing is just running hot, like it's retarded. It does, it's, that doesn't even make any sense, right? What new value has the world put out uh, in NASDAQ over the past year and a half uh, to make it you know, go up that high. It just is not supposed to work like that. So this is fake money, you know, trying to save face because they know that once they pull that thing out, bam, all that money has to go somewhere. And actually you get a nice head and shoulders, which means it'll drop like that. And then you form another head and shoulders, which means it'll drop <laughs> down here, you know, and this laying is literally like a house of cards, just stacking up, waiting to fall. Um, so the biggest thing is to be fearful when people are greedy and be greedy when people are fearful. This is greed, right? No value in the world has been produced inside the past six months on, you know, an asset based exchange that has been around since the early 1900s to make it make it go up that high. Like it just it doesn't make any sense. Um, 
So there you go. Smash that like button if you haven't done it already. I see somebody asking about ETC. I will be doing a video on them this week. Uh, ETC times three. Um, again, I, that was your time to buy it back there. When all the when when that thing gets suppressed, you know that's when you need to look at it. And that's what I do. Honestly, that's what I do with the profit packages. I pick coins, you know, that are right here before the big breakout comes and that's when you get paid we have we've been looking at dash for like a month you know um and and it just hit um ada is another one um let's see what else we got what else eos is another one these are all coins that my people on the profit package on the money team are very cognizant of very tuned into and uh, have been profiting as a result. Somebody just threw out BAT in the group today. Nobody's talking about BAT, but guess what? Guess what? That's a continuation pattern. And, um, you know, it's very, very hard to lose money, you know, when you, when you have these different levels built into it, right? So it's not a matter of if, but when, BAT will start to come back. And you can probably see that thing before the end of February right break through that price level here hit that right there and if it keeps running like the rest of these coins have go up to hit that right there right so that's it man that's all i got boss of bitcoin.com for the different products and packages we have available for you uh the elevator looks good you know uh nine thousand is one floor ten thousand is another floor twelve 12 and a half, I think is the top for the time being until the midsummer, until the market confirms that it wants to take it higher. And once we reach this 12 and a half, that's when you'll start to see a lot of new fresh money come into the place. But again, I don't think that's going to happen until May. Right now we play the middle, we play the market, you know, we understand the, the, the different currencies and the currents in the sea that are literally effervescing and floating around us and we use the different tools and packages and products available to make this money right so with that being said everybody it's that time of the day signing out folks boy bk no matter where you stay brazil to bay california IA. all the way back out through jerk my name good night good morning and good day thank you for joining thank you for your time hit that thumbs up button for a player one time do that for me if you appreciate mine till we meet again Stay cryptic, y'all. Peace. Like a boss. Huh. Huh.